Can Ethereum flip Bitcoin? That's a question asked everywhere I go. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a huge opportunity. If you're a Bitcoin maximalist or whatever it may be, there's still an opportunity for you to double your Bitcoins. I personally don't think that Ethereum will actually take over and flip Bitcoin, but I see Ethereum moving its way back to all time highs, which will be a very profitable trade. And let's go into the reasons why Ethereum is gonna do that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily videos. So first of all, the usage for Ethereum. Uh, let's start with this article actually. Ethereum usage is now 54 times uh, to Bitcoin as Ethereum 2.0 becomes the largest ETH holder. So you can see here some of the fees and with ETH 2.0, I think the London hard fork, uh, the gas is instead of Ethereum being inflationary and, ethe and more Ethereum being created, uh, it's actually deflationary and now Ethereum is being burned. And I'm gonna go into some of those numbers. So the skyrocketing usage could be explained by the fact that Ethereum has more use cases than Bitcoin. For instance, Ethereum has surfaced as the backbone of various sectors like non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and decentralized finance, DeFi, which have witnessed exponential growth exponential growth in the crypto space. So for instance, the DeFi industry is a billion dollar sector because it was recently valued at $81 billion, which it's actually higher and we'll go into it right now. So this is the DeFi overview uh, on DAP radar. And we're looking just at the Ethereum network and let's actually compare Ethereum network. So they stated that it was an $80 billion um, $80 uh, billion dollar market. This is $135 billion total value locked in their protocols. And then you can see some of the protocols right here leading by the uh, total value locked. So there's $16 billion here. There's 15 billion here, 14 billion in wrapped Bitcoin, uh, 11 billion in compound. And these are all decentralized applications where people can, you know, lend, uh, liquidity, they can actually make loans, they can borrow, they can farm, there's so much you can do on them. So there's $134 billion. If we look against uh, Binance Smart Chain, there's only $20 billion, still a massive amount. Polygon, $3.42 billion, and uh, Solana, $4.5 billion. So ETH definitely dominates that at $136 billion. There's a ton of money being locked up on these protocols. And then you have gaming, gambling, and exchanges. Like if you're not familiar with Uniswap, um, then you definitely this is like the you know uh, surface of the iceberg. Uniswap is the most used decentralized uh, exchange out there. So billions of dollars of uh, volume going through Uniswap. And let's move on to OpenSea. And this is the OpenSea volume. And I'm just showing you this to show you that uh, all of this is being used on the Ethereum network with ETH being the uh, native token and being used. So you can see here, there is four, actually $3.4 billion in gas, uh, not in gas, sorry, but monthly volume uh, in OpenSea, which is nuts. 3 billion the next month, 2.6 billion after, and then you have 1.6 billion for the 11th. That's this month, we're not over yet, but crazy amounts of volume. And then you can see the amounts of NFT sold here. Uh, this is awesome tool on Dune Analytics. You can move on to the next article, which is Ethereum NFT transactions volume surpasses $10.6 billion. That's a lot of money. Um, and I wanna go into the supply shock. So as I mentioned, uh, now Ethereum is being burned. And we're gonna go into the supply shock um, graph made by Willy Wu. This is very awesome. So you can see here how the supply shock is moving up. So there's less, less ETH that is on markets uh, available for people to buy. And you can see the supply shock is moving up while price is kind of stagnant and moving down. So you can see here last time, while price moved up very quickly, I mean, not price, but the uh, price shock moved up very quickly, the Ethereum supply shock, 
you can see moved up very quickly while price was kind of moving down so we had a large divergence here and then price kind of caught up to it and you can see how rapid it, uh, rapidly it moved uh, upwards so we're seeing and then this is an updated chart right here this is actually posted maybe yesterday from Willy Woo. I highly suggest joining his uh, newsletter. It's, it's very, very valuable. So you can see here price actually broke down while the supply shock is growing. So we'll move on to uh, burned Ethereum after the EIP 1559 and you can see how much Ethereum is being burned and then the cumulative value of burned Ethereum almost at $4 billion, um, thousands of ETH. So this is very, very important to note. We're looking at all on-chain things and um, we're looking at usages of Ethereum, NFTs, DeFi, even gaming. Like so much people are building on the network. And now let's take a look at the price. So if you guys have been watching, we've been trading Ethereum from the start. I mean, for a lot, a lot longer from the start of the year, but uh, publicly posting about this awesome trade. So this is turning your Bitcoin into double. You know, putting in one or two Bitcoin or whatever it may be, you know, 0 0.1, whatever you have in Bitcoin into Ethereum and pulling out double. So I think that Bit Ethereum could definitely work its way to all time highs. But will it ever flip Bitcoin? I don't like maybe for a week, maybe for a few days. I don't think ever. Also, as um, like um, a store of value, that's, you know, Bitcoin definitely uh, dominates over that. It's just not comparable in any way. But there's so much usage for Ethereum in different ways as well. And, you know, big people building Bitcoin DeFi, it's, it's in the works right now, but it's uh, not out right now. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there too. So let's actually take a look at Bitcoin dominance quickly uh, because this is important because if Bitcoin is, uh, Bitcoin dominance is in an uptrend, trend then we see bitcoin capturing more of the market cap and we can see bitcoin kind of leading the market but right now uh what i see quickly is obviously this huge drop and then i see that we got rejected here so we're putting in lower lows and lower highs here's a lower low right here we actually we peaked a little bit lower right here we couldn't break above this so in my opinion we might be coming down to these levels let's just check you can see here, um, maybe we'll make a lower low this time, but these are some of the levels I'm expecting. It looks like we're gonna be creaking all the way back down here to test this, and if not, we can come back to test the lows and potentially make a new low in Bitcoin dominance because there's so many different, you know, networks, blockchains, projects out there that um, it's, it's a bit different than 2017. So uh, just taking a look at that, it is kind of coming down. So that means that more money, in my opinion, is going to different coins like Ethereum, all these mid cap uh, and small cap projects. So that gives uh, a lot of altcoins some, some room to really run here if this continues to go down um, before Bitcoin really makes a move. So let's take a look at the Ethereum chart. So this is what we've been sharing for a very long time. And I was going on the usages on why I think Ethereum uh, might be kind of gearing up to take a, take a huge move. And now I'm going to go into the technical analysis aspect of have a few videos of Ethereum and me breaking it down. So we're going to break it down uh, as quickly as possible, but still make it as valuable as possible. So um, as we mentioned, markets move and lower lows in a downtrend and higher highs in an uptrend. And as you hear it all the uh, all the time, the trend is your friend. So Ethereum Bitcoin pair. This is if you have Bitcoin. We'll take a look at the Ethereum USD pair quickly. I think that if it's going to retest its all time high right here and then keep moving forward, we're in a clear uptrend. As I mentioned, you can see uh, higher high lower higher low high testing the high higher low higher high and wherever we put our low here to go to the next higher high maybe six seven thousand dollars so you can see here and even on the daily you can see that we uh every time we come to test the 200 day moving average it's a clear it's a clear buy 
huge buying opportunity, huge buying opportunity, huge buying opportunity from where we are right now. If you bought on the moving average, um, you'd be at over 100% on your Bitcoin. You'd have doubled your Bitcoin. So even here, the close to the moving averages, it's a great buy. So you can see here that if it comes down here, that would be a sweet buy. You know, obviously add some uh, other metrics, give it some more confluence. Maybe that's a variation of bullish uh, candlesticks or whatever it may be. But uh, we're still holding this uptrend on the daily, on the weekly. So Ethereum is holding up and it's looking like it can move forward. If we go to the Bitcoin pair, and that's why all of you are here because you guys want to double your Bitcoin, let's take a look at Ethereum right now. So this is moving in the opposite direction of the higher high. So this is in a downtrend. We're seeing lower low from the top, lower low, lower high, I mean, because lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. And then you can see here is where we broke right here. We broke out and made a higher high. So we broke the current trend. I could draw this like, I mean, I don't, yeah, I could draw it like that. Why not? I can draw it a few different ways. I have the line. You know what? I'll just leave it like that. Um, and then we came down, we tested this area and we tested this trend line too. So we tested this lower high right here. We tested this trend line and we retested this resistance as support. It's a change of polarity. Um, and it's an awesome setup right here. And then we moved up and it actually looks like we may have tested again, maybe very close. Um, but then we moved up and you can see here how we're like previous supports or resistance are awesome places to cover, take profit or, you know, exit, whatever it may be. So you can see here we broke up higher. So now what we are in and is in a clear uptrend instead of a downtrend, because now we're making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. And this is where I think we took our big trade um, and we posted that and made a video about it and then we exited here as well. I mean, probably would have been profitable, more profitable if I held it, but uh, I took a huge trade and then we sold up over 100 Ethereum here and I profited three Bitcoins. It might not be a profit to you know some people watching. It might be a lot for a lot of people watching and I'm not trying to brag, I'm just trying to educate here. So um, I was highly convinced that this was going to move to its prior resistance area right here and uh, we took profits and now we'll reposition ourselves. So we're looking at a higher high right here and this is actually a continuation move in, in my opinion. So there's two, two things that this can look like. It can look like a bull flag. So bull flag uh, Forex. So markets don't just move up. Like look at how you know, violent this moved just straight up. Like, you know, just something like this. But sometimes markets, um, they need more accumulation time. Uh, they need a breather. They need, um, you know what I mean? They can't just keep going up. So this looks like a bull flag to me like this, going up, consolidate, more accumulation, and then go up again some profit taking, repositioning, and then go up again. So that looks like pretty much like a, a, a bull flag where you have um, the huge extension, then reaccumulation or consolidation, and then another push up. So that is usually the way to um, get the um, expected move from there. And that would be almost it would be definitely clearing this, but that'd be almost retouching our all time high. So another thing that this looks like is uh, definitely this looks like a huge uh, ascending triangle. So if we did ascending triangle, which is also uh, moved to the upwards. So you can see right here um, coming up. The move is coming up and then ascending triangle. Oh, that's an ascending. That's not. Yeah, that is an ascending triangle flat top. And then the lows are ascending. So you can see here flat top. 
but the lows so right here right here right here it's ascending so I could just do that and you would take the base so from here to here as your target it would probably be ending up somewhere there if I take my fibs as well and I run it from here to there I have the exact same target as um, so this would have been bouncing back 38.2 percent and you see this huge bullish engulfing um, this huge and bullish engulfing candle this would have been an awesome buy right here you would have probably had to wait for the candle and then it retraced half of the bullish engulfing that's why you break down into smaller time frames to get a uh, uh, um, to find or get a better uh, entry so you um, this actually lines up pretty much perfectly with my uh, target right here at 0.12%. So this is at the top right here, but from the top, it's about 62%. If it you get one more bounce to this trend line, that's about 80, 82%. And then to the all time high, which we're eyeing right here is 130%. So even from the current price right now, if it breaks out right now, that's 100%. So what does that mean? Since this is the Bitcoin pair, uh, like I said, we put five Bitcoins in here and then we didn't get as much as double as we were just trading it here. Uh, but we got a very great profit. And then here we're looking to take a very nice position and then double our Bitcoins as well uh, with the current way Ethereum is moving, the usage of Ethereum and the amount of Ethereum being burnt. So I think this is all very big. And I think this is another great opportunity for people to double their Bitcoins. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be putting out videos every day. So if you want to see something specific, uh, whether it's just, you know, trading, technical analysis, crypto, blockchains, uh, a specific coin, whatever it may be, post in the description, uh, post it below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys tomorrow.